Hi everyone, my name is Austin Bram with Integrail. I have a very exciting demo for you today of a new social media AI agent that I created. This AI agent can create a viral script for you, a correlating post to go along with that video script, an AI image for you to use as the thumbnail, and even an MP3 of that script so you can hear exactly how the flow is gonna go. So let me show you how I made it. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna be at the home screen. And from there, you can go ahead and click on create new agent. This screen will bring up our familiar home screen that has our agent inputs, our LLM node, as well as our agent outputs. We're gonna start off with the LLM node today. The first aspect of this AI agent is to create a viral script for you to read from for your videos. So for that, what we're going to do is open up the LLM node, choose your desired model. In my case, let's go ahead with GPT-40. You can see that we're connected to your user prompt. And the system prompt is where you put in exactly what you want to happen in the background of this LLM node. In this case, I've already written it out and I'll paste it in right now. So I'll briefly break down what it's gonna do. So the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna give it a persona to follow. In this case, act as a social media expert, specializing in creating viral content and maximizing views and engagement. But of course you can change this around for however you would like. I give it the context. I work for an AI startup focused on no-code agentic AI workflows, write a concise word-for-word 90-second -word script for social media. And this, of course, is where you can change around depending on which social media you want to post it on, or even if you're going to be doing this for another reason. The more specific that you can be in your instructions, the better output it will give you. From here, I'm going to choose zero for the chat length because I only want it to interact with the agent input node, nothing else. As far as temperature, you can think of temperature as how creative do you want this bot to be? Zero being, I don't want it to be creative, I want it to be straight to the point, exactly what I asked for it to do. And in this case, we can think of one as very creative. It will kind of veer off of what you've asked a little bit just to be more creative. So in this case, since I want it to be a video that I'm actually going to post, I'm gonna choose something relatively low. Let's go ahead with 0.3. So from here, I like to label my nodes so that I know exactly what they're for. Let's go ahead and call this script node. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to add in the correlating post node. We're gonna go ahead and click in the top left corner of this plus icon for adding a node, and we're going to add an LLM. Here I'm actually gonna move it up so I can see it perfectly, and I'm going to click in, and once again, you can choose your model. In this case, I chose Claude 3.5 Sonnet, because it is well known for being a good writer. Make sure that you connect the output to the user prompt. And once again, for the system prompt, I already have one pre-made, so I'll post it in here. One great thing about LLMs is they can actually understand, of course, your natural language. So in this case, I broke down my system prompt a little bit differently. I gave it a primary function, its responsibilities, and so on and so forth, some guidelines. And once again, the more specific that you can be on what you're looking for, the better output it will give you. Once again, I chose zero for the chat history length because I only want it to interact with the script node. And temperature, once again, I want it to be very accurate on what I asked for. But at the same time, I do want it to be a little bit creative. So let's go ahead and do 0.5. Let's name this post node and make sure to connect the output to the agent output. Next, we're gonna work on creating our image generation node. But it's very important first and foremost, when you're creating an image generation node, you actually want to use an LLM to help you write that prompt. So I'm going to open up a new LLM. Let's put it down out of the way. The sole purpose of this node is to take the script that was created and create a, a reciprocal AI image generation prompt since those are usually structured very differently. Let's go ahead again and choose GPT-40. Connect the script node to the user prompt. And I'm gonna paste in my instructions here for the system prompt. One interesting aspect whenever it comes to these nodes that are gonna be used for something else, not to interact with the user, is to actually tell the bot that you do not want it to engage with the user at all. It has a very specific purpose and it's only going to stick to that purpose. So you can see here, your sole task is to take the output from the above, the script, and optimize AI image prompt 
specifically for a video thumbnail. One thing you can see that I added here to this system prompt is some explicit instructions to do not engage with the user in any way. This will of course let the node know that it is only used for one purpose and that purpose is to create an image generation prompt. Your sole task is to take the output and generate an optimized AI image prompt specifically for a video thumbnail. I even go on to give it some instructions like vibrant, colorful, directly relevant to the topic and an example of what a good prompt would look like. Now, in this case, I do want it to be quite creative, but still stick to the point of the script pretty closely. So I'm going to choose point six to allow it to be a little bit more creative. Now for the actual image generation node. Let's go ahead and add a new node. And this is going to be a text to image node. From here, you can drag it on down below to go with your image generation LLM connect the output to the prompt. And you can notice that on this image generation node as well, you do have the choice of different models. Let's go ahead and choose your favorite, which in my case, I like to use Stable Diffusion Large Turbo. But a pro tip would be try out the different LLMs and try out the different models to see which ones you like the most. You have the option to change the aspect ratio. And in this case, let's just stick to one by one. Make sure that you connect the output to the agent outputs. And now you've just added image generation capabilities. We'll add one more node here for the text to speech node. Go ahead and add a node and scroll down to you see text to speech. From here, you make sure to put the output to your input and you have a choice, just like how you had the choice with models, you have the choice for different voices. In this case, you can just try out different ones to see which one you like the most. I like Onyx, so I'm gonna click on that. And you can choose the different format that you would like. Let's go with MP3. From here, you just grab the output and go to Agent Outputs. One very important point any time that you are creating an AI agent is to make sure to save it. Now let's go ahead and test it. Let's go ahead and use the prompt, what is Agentic AI? From here, you're going to choose to run your agent and you'll see it start working. And there we have it, let's take a look. In your script node, you see that you have all your results. Once again, in your post node, you can see once again, it has made you a post to go along with that. We do have our MP3 file, which you can hear right here. Imagine creating powerful AI workflows without writing a single line of code. Sounds impossible. And then lastly, we do have your AI image. One thing I like to do when I'm actually chatting with my agent is to change the view from design agents to chat with agents. Go ahead and click on your chat bot and prompt whatever you're interested in. In this case, we'll choose what is Agentic AI. And there you have it. Let's take a look. It starts off with its script that I can use for my videos. From there, it actually breaks down posts depending on what platform you're gonna put it on, whether it be X, LinkedIn, et cetera. You see an AI image that it created that you can download and use as your thumbnail, and it even created an MP3. Imagine creating complex AI workflows without writing a single line of code. Sounds impossible? Think again. So there you have it. We have just gone over how you can create your own social media AI agent. And if you like this video, make sure to like and share with your friends and hit subscribe to see more demos just like this.